Here's one of the really cool things about Sibelius 5, and this is called instrument changes. Uh, those of you who are familiar with staff type changes from Sibelius 4, uh, this is similar in that the uh, staff types would contain the mapping and the various placement on staff uh, that unpitched instruments would appear. And they still do that. However, uh, they don't call them staff type changes anymore. They call them instrument changes, and that's because in addition to containing the mapping and all of that information, it also tells Sibelius what instrument to load in. And again, Sibelius does this automatically without you having to load up some sort of a bank or open up the contact player and, and remember what channel or program you're playing out to. It'll figure that all out for you. So just to take a quick look at how that would work, let's take a look at that xylophone part we wrote. Okay, so after a couple bars, let's say we want our xylophone player to switch to glockenspiel. Uh, let's say right here, we want to we want to start a glockenspiel part. What I'm going to do is go to create other instrument change, and uh, if you watch the previous screencast, we actually did a key uh, keyboard shortcut for that. So I would normally just hit Command I to to come here. Now we've got the instrument change window. And just like in the instrument window, we've got our ensembles of instruments here. So there's our VDL 2.5 ensemble, and then all the various families within it. So I'm going to select this family, because that's where my glockenspiel is. And uh, I'm going to say, I'm just going to load in the glock with medium plastic mallets. Click OK. And now, you see, it puts an announcement at the end of the xylophone part. We've got a glockenspiel part and hidden we see that it's using medium plastic mallets and this little rectangle right here whoops I'll zoom in on it so you can see a little bit better that's the actual instrument change so we can drag that left or right however we would like um, but let's just enter in a part here and uh, as we do that you'll hear we have not yet heard this, the uh, the glock sound But when we go to play, you'll see real quickly there, uh, Sibelius just loaded in a glockenspiel so it knows when it encounters this instrument change, it's going to actually play that back. There's our xylophone part, We've got a bar of rest. Okay, if we wanted to actually move that over a little bit, say that's where we wanted it to switch to glockenspiel for some strange reason. Uh, for starters, I'd probably just remove that announcement. That announcement makes no, uh, it has no bearing on how it plays back. But because I've moved the instrument change over, this bar that used to be a glockenspiel part, well, now it's going to be a xylophone part because it's part of this instrument. Okay, so right as soon as it encountered the instrument change, that's when it swapped to the new instrument. Now let's say we want that glockenspiel player or xylophone player to switch to a triangle. What we're going to do is um, right here we're going to put a triangle instrument change. So again I'm going to hit command I, that's my instrument change shortcut. And I'm going to select accessories because that's where my triangles are. So I will select the six inch Grover. And uh, you'll see also here in the instrument change window, uh, because we're going from a pitched instrument with treble clef to uh, what's going to be an unpitched instrument, uh, we can add the percussion clef if, uh, if it's necessary. And this checkbox will announce, or if we unselect it, it won't announce uh, at the end of the previous instrument. It won't say go to triangle. If we select it, it will say to triangle. I'm going to uncheck that so you can see how that looks. So we'll add that in. Here's our new triangle instrument change. And uh, there's our new clef that comes with it. So right here I'm going to enter a new triangle part. We'll just enter some quarter notes. These are just going to be regular overtone hits. And again, I'm just typing these on the MIDI keyboard. And let's do a whole note. And this will be a roll. 
which I know is on my A key. So I've just entered that in. So now when we come from our Glock part and get to here, we should immediately hear it switch to triangle. And again, because that's a sampled triangle roll, Sibelius is not trying to uh, synthetically play a series of MIDI attacks to, to give the sound of a roll. It, it knows that the sample is going to play the role for us. <laughs> 